Welcome everyone, Bratboy90. I got some requests to do an updated video on Wi-Fi dropout issues. Pretty simple fix sometimes, and if not, at least you tried. So it's free to do, and you just need to download this app. I put a link in the description. Otherwise, you can go to Google Play on your phone, which you will need a phone, so hopefully you have that. It's called Wi-Fi Analyzer. Open the app, and then you're gonna get a screen like this and it's gonna show you what's called channels. Now, Wi-Fi works on different channels, and your your router should be smart enough to choose the least um, used channel, but if not, you can get some dropout issues because of neighbors near you. So it's like interference, wireless interference. Now, I've already moved mine to a different channel that's less used, both of those in the middle are mine, obviously why they're the highest, and actually if you look at where the centering of the channel is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the other people are kind of using the low end spectrum and the high end spectrum. Um, you can do this for both your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and I will explain how to do that right now. So obviously with this we can see who's using what and we want to pick the area less used. So for me that was like channel 7 about. Now if you're having dropout issues in certain areas of your house I want you to swipe right and you're gonna get this beeper. Now this is really simple beep, uh, but the closer you are to your router, the faster it'll beep, which means the better coverage you have in that area. So I'm really close to my router, which actually can be a problem too, I've noticed sometimes. But you can walk around your house and find your dead spots. Great, app, great tool to use. Otherwise you can swipe, it'll tell you what channel is probably the best to use. Um, uh, right here, the rating. and. It says seven's the worst rating right now for me to use because I'm using it. Because I it, like there's so much interference. If I were to want to add to that, it would make it worse. So if you want to change to five gigahertz, simply tap and then up here at the top left it pops up 4G or 5G. And there you can see my 5G is totally untouched. No one uses 5G. A lot of people just have 2.4. Um, so on the 5G as well, you need to scroll. Uh, at the top here you can slide and you can see the other people on the other channels because 5 has a lot more channel capability. Now I'm gonna pop you into the next little part here on how to change that on your router now that you've figured out what channel you want to go to. Alright so now I'm inside my router and I'm able to adjust settings. To get to this you type in any web browser 192.168.1.1. It might ask for a password that'll either be on your router or modem and if 1.1 doesn't work, try .0.1. Now you're going to go into your Wi-Fi settings, and usually you'll have a channel setting. You'll see that's just below where I've jokingly named it Donald Trump for dictatorship. Not exactly how I feel. I don't care about politics at all. I'm not getting into it. Um, so you'll see that number 7 is what I've selected, and then you'll click Apply to make the change. Pretty simple change. And you can also mess around with some other things in here. Some routers even have the ability to turn up your Wi-Fi signal. You can boost the percentage of how harsh it is. But I do not have that capability without flashing to a different firmware. I really hope this helps a ton of you out. Uh, it's free, it's simple, it's short, it's fast and easy, right? And I just, uh, I wire everything in my house that I can, but obviously people have laptops, phones, etc. And if you do have a dead spot, you need to look into an, an extender. And I also have one of those out in my garage. It takes the Wi-Fi signal and it's able to be plugged in itself into a wall outlet and extend out there. And then it gives me a wired connection out in my garage as well. Not exactly the most opportune setup, but if you're really having that problem, I suggest getting a Wi-Fi extender. Otherwise, I hope this helps a ton of you. Please comment what happened or uh, like, dislike the video, and subscribe to the channel. I do try to get videos out uh, at least a few a month, I hope. So thanks for uh, watching, and good luck.